so boom, we all go to meet son. Like, I mean, all of us that could that could get out, we all go to see, we all go to meet son as he's coming in the receiving room. Your yo's popping. Yo, we in here, son. You heard come. Now I mean, I hope they send you to this dorm. Hope they send you to that dorm. Now I mean, he like, all right, yo, son, who here, son? Yo, word the mother, yo, all right, son, yo, I'm coming to the yard. You heard? So niggas like, yeah, son. Niggas like, niggas like, yeah, son, shit about to get crazy. This nigga here, you heard? So listen, man. Let me tell you about this nigga. This nigga right here, my nigga. This nigga was different. You heard? This nigga was one of the wildest niggas you ever met in your life. First of all, this nigga's a Spanish nigga. I can't remember if son is Puerto Rican or Dominican. You understand what I'm saying? But he a Spanish nigga. And he one of them Spanish niggas that grew up in Brownsville getting it on and doing anything. You heard? This nigga just don't give a fuck, my nigga. You heard? You know how niggas be like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. A lot of y'all niggas really do give a fuck. But this nigga... This nigga really didn't give a fuck About nothing or nobody You understand? So This nigga comes into jail He goes on the old side We mostly, all of us is on the new side So he goes on the old side Being that most of us is on the new side This nigga is on the old side Going crazy, you heard? So boom So I'm going to chow and shit you feel what I'm saying? I'm going to chow. I'm seeing my uptown niggas. You heard? I'm seeing niggas that I was in other dorms with from Harlem and shit like that. And niggas is like, yo, man, yo, son, what up, man? What's up with your brand? What's up with your Brownsville niggas, man? I'm like, yo, what, nigga? What you talking about? The legendary Brownsville bike shop, you heard? Rest in peace to the bro just passed away. Legend. Brownsville legend. But it's like, yo, listen. So, boom. So I'm seeing my uptown niggas, my uptown niggas like, yo, what's up with y'all Brownsville ass niggas, man? So I'm like, what, nigga, what you talking about? Nigga like, yo, nigga, your man that just came here from Brownsville, that nigga is fucking, he's standing over there with a mob of little niggas that he don't even really know. He just putting the battery in these little niggas back and they don't even know him. He just got these niggas on doja missions. He said, yo, this nigga hanging out by the package room with about six little niggas. And they robbing everybody that come out the package room, my nigga. He said these niggas is robbing niggas for their package. Running across the grass into the dorms. Police is chasing these niggas through the grass of the dorms. And he, him and these little niggas is running into the dorms, my nigga. Into dorms that they not even from. To get away from the police. Like they in the streets. And then after they get away with the merchandise... They come back to the package room and rob another nigga, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He like, yo, niggas is like, yo, son, this nigga is going to change the whole structure of the jail. Because at the time, Green was very loose where it's like, you could go to whatever dorm you wanted to go to. You could move around the jail wherever you wanted to go to. And niggas love that. So niggas like, yo, this nigga going to change the whole motherfucking sc sculpture of the jail, my nigga. He gonna make these niggas implement all type of rules. This nigga is robbing niggas, running into different dorms. I'm like, ah, this nigga Papa Jock. This nigga just got into jail. And he got a robbery team. You heard? Niggas like, yo, son, this nigga running up on niggas at commissary. Taking niggas whole bags of commissary. Cutting niggas bags open. Taking they shit. Everybody running and scattering with niggas goods and trinkets. I'm like, yo, my nigga. This nigga crazy. We finally get the nigga over to the new side. We finally get the nigga over to the new side. Like, get this nigga from over there because he's out of control over there. You understand what I'm saying? You got to get this nigga where the peoples is at so the peoples could keep this nigga from doing some crazy shit. So then one day some shit happened. Now, like I said, Papa Jock is the type of nigga... Son put in a lot of fucking work on Rikers Island. You understand what I'm saying? Son was the type of nigga, my nigga. You might see this nigga walking down the hallway on Rikers Island with two black eyes, my nigga. Because he fights so much. He pops off so much that you might see the nigga with two black eyes, my nigga. But he gave six black eyes. He gave ten black eyes. But you might see him with two. 
Cause this nigga was always getting it on Always fighting You feel me He don't stop He never stops So I seized the nigga So boom So one day right Like I said Son did a lot of dirt on Rikers Island A lot of dirt in other jails You heard So one day He was in a school building On the new side And somebody snuck up behind him And knocked him out You heard Maybe not out cold Cold like that but came up behind him and, you know, stole off on a nigga, blindsided son and stole off on son. You heard? For something he most likely did on Rikers Island to a nigga a long time ago. You feel what I'm saying? So now, niggas tell me that. Like I said, I'm young, dumb. You understand what I'm saying? I'm all into Brownsville. I'm a Brownsville fanatic. Anybody touch anybody from the Ville, I'm ready to start a war. You feel what I'm saying? So niggas told me, yo, niggas knocked out the nigga Popo last night. I'm like, what? I'm like, nah. Nah, that can't go down. Niggas ain't what? Nah. You heard? So here I go, nigga. I'm on the new side. I'm starting unnecessary drama. I'm starting unnecessary shit. So I ain't even see the nigga pop, Papa Jock since the shit happened. I just heard. I don't know how he's feeling about it, but I'm tight. So now I'm with my son, Mike. We walking down the walkway, going to the mess. So I think this was the day that Fowl had came through too. If I'm not mistaken, this was the same day that Fowl had got the green. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm with the nigga Mike and I'm walking down the walkway. And I see this Muslim nigga that was in the house with me. Right? He was in the house with me before. And I mean, I knew the nigga. So me and the nigga Mike... We both had little bullshit ratchets on us. You heard? We run up on the Muslim nigga. We backed the ratchets out on the nigga. I said, yo, who knocked the nigga Papa Jock out? Because we heard it was a Muslim nigga who did it. You heard? And nobody ain't want to reveal who it was. So we, I seen a Muslim nigga. I ran down. I said, yo, who who, who, who knocked the nigga Papa Jock out? He's like, yo, I don't know. I don't know. I said, yo, son, stop fucking playing with me, my nigga. I said, stop fucking playing with me, nigga. You know. You know. So my man was inching up like he was about to blow fire out of son. So he was like, yo, it was this nigga such and such. So the nigga he named, I'm like, damn, why it had to be that nigga? It was either the, it was either him or the nigga that he fucked with. I can't remember which one did it. But regardless of what, the nigga that he names like, yo, this nigga and this nigga was there. You feel me? And I'm like, ah, oh, man, the nigga that he named was a strong ass Muslim. Now, we fucked with the Muslims. We was cool with the Muslims. Now, I mean, some of them. You heard? Some of them was peoples that we fucked with. Like my nigga Ab, you heard? And several other niggas, real ass niggas that we fucked with. You heard? So I was, that was OD, me backing out the ratchet on the Muslim nigga. Me and my nigga Mike backing out the ratchet on the Muslim nigga on the walkway in front of everybody. We ran down on the nigga, backed the ratchet out. Yo, who the fuck? We got the information. So you understand what I'm saying? And, and when, he get, when he told me which Muslim nigga did it or had something to do with it, I was like, damn, why I had to be that nigga? Because that nigga's a smart ass warlord type of nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Who he ain't gonna slack. Like he he if it's if it get if it's on with that nigga, he gonna be sending niggas a hundred miles per hour. And rumor had it, and rumor had it, you know, it was like 200 Muslims. They was like 200 deep. You heard? We was deep. We was Brooklyn. We was deep. We had a mob of like 50 niggas. You understand what I'm saying? A strong 50. You heard? We had a strong 50. But them niggas was, they had a strong 200. You heard? And rumor had it that the imam of the, of the Muslims, the outside civilian nigga, was arming them niggas to fuck up with fiberglass razors. You heard? Shits that don't go off in the metal detector. So that was the word in the jail. Niggas was like, yo, all the Muslim niggas is armed up, nigga. With Glocks and, you understand what I'm saying? Fiberglass shit that don't go off in the mags. You understand what I'm saying? And the outside... Imam is bringing that shit in You understand what I'm saying Real talk because he's a Muslim Whether he's a civilian or not If the Muslims got war He gotta arm them niggas up You heard According to the teachings So This nigga was bringing these niggas Boxes of fiberglass razors So these niggas had shit in the yard Everywhere so If you had beef with them niggas It was on like fucking popcorn So Little do I know, like, now I mean, like I said, we pressed the Muslim nigga, the nigga gave up the information. Now that word got back to the niggas that we ran down on one of them niggas. That's violation alone. 
that I ran down on one of them niggas, backed them niggas down and got that information. That's violation alone. So it just so happens, or maybe, oh no, nah, what happened was, remember I told you about the shit that took place with me and Mike, me and my nigga almost went to the box. We almost went to the box and almost got caught with the police when I was coming out the shower and all of that. Little time after that, they packed our asses up. They packed me up and sent me back over to the old side. You heard? They sent me to C2. As soon as I knew I was getting packed up, I was like, yo, give me the biggest chain. You know what I mean? I took the biggest chain over there because I was coming back to the old side after like a year. So niggas don't know me on the old side like that. So being that I was going back to the old side now, I went, I got the biggest hurt that we had in the team. And I went over there with the biggest hurt on to let niggas know my nigga like, I'm coming through, I'm over here, nigga. And I'm that type of nigga that's rocking hurts and things of that nature in this jail, nigga. So do your research on me. You heard? So, I mean, once I was packing up, I hollered at my son. Yo, let me get the beef, son. I'm going to give it back. Son gave me the beef. I just came through the dorm with the big stupid hurt on. But I came in the dorm. It was nothing but people's in there. My nigga Fats, love him. You heard? My nigga Fats from up the hill, love him. One of the realest niggas on the planet. Nigga used to have me crying. You heard? You know what I mean? Son was in there. You know, I'm coming in there all young and stupid. These niggas is Brownsville legends in there. Gangsters and killers. My little ass thinking I'm tough, you heard? But I started fucking with the nigga Fats. My nigga Wop from 354 from D-Block. You heard? Son was in C2 holding it down. You heard? And it was, it was like, see, on the old side of green, like I said, the little day room, everybody can't rock the little day room. You got to be a thug to rock the little day room in some dorms, not in all dorms. In some dorms, clown niggas is in the little day room. Then it's not a challenge. But in other dorms, it's five, six niggas rocking the little day room. And everybody else got to rock the big day room because if you ain't a thug, nigga, if you ain't peoples, you can't even be in a little day room like that. So when I when you go to the old side, you got to come over there with that attitude like, I'm in that little day room, nigga. I put my chair in there, my hurt, whatever. What's up? So I came in there like that. But like I said, it was nothing but peoples in there. And I was fucking with the peoples. My nigga Fats, my nigga Wop. You heard um, my nigga Iz. I think I was in G2 with Iz. Well, I think Iz was in C2. I'm not remember. I can't remember. My nigga Iz from the Ville. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we had our little squad, my nigga. But anyway, um... Like I said, I backed the Muslim nigga down with the hammer. You heard? To get that information on who did that. You heard? So now I'm starting shit. Now these niggas is ready to tear me up. And they know if they tear me up, it's going to be on with Brooklyn. You understand what I'm saying? So now it's a sticky situation. So now I'm in the yard one day. First of all, I run into the nigga Papa Jock. I run into the nigga Papa Jock. I'm like, yo, son, word him up. I just backed this Muslim nigga down and got the information. It was this nigga, that nigga, this nigga. So son was like, oh, word. Ah, right. he said, nah, man. He said, all right, I'm going to get that nigga. I said, yeah, son, I mean, fuck that. I'm tired. These niggas violated. I was like, yo, niggas violated, son, word him up, man. Niggas going to have to get it. And that nigga, and, and son, son said some shit that I would never forget. That nigga was like, yo, son, listen, my nigga. He said, this ain't the first time I've been knocked out. This ain't the first time a nigga clawed me. He said, my nigga, I done had 10,000 fights, my nigga. He said, you ain't gonna win all of them shits. He said, I done took many a losses, my nigga. Many a losses. But I done took three times more wins. Because I don't never give up and I always come back. He said, so son, I ain't walking around the jail mad and stressed and sad because niggas violated. He said, if niggas was real like that, they would have seen me straight up instead of behind my back, son. He says, so fuck them niggas, my nigga. I ain't worried about them niggas. I catch them niggas on the get back. You heard? In the meantime, nigga, we ain't here getting money robbing niggas and shit. You heard? So I was like, yo, you right, son. You right. I was like, you know what, son? You right, son. You know what I mean? And, and, and that was some deep shit. Like, son basically was saying, nigga, I ain't stressed. I'm not one of these niggas mad prideful. Oh, word, niggas stole on me from behind. I got to stab and kill somebody. He like, nigga, fuck them niggas. You know what I mean? He like, he like, yo, them niggas pussy. They knew to sneak up on me and do that shit behind my back instead of say something to me because they don't want me to know who it is, son. I said, yo, you right, son. You right. But it was too late, my nigga. I had already backed the Muslim nigga down and everybody saw that. You heard me and my son, Mike. We pulled out the joints on the nigga. Pause. Back that nigga down. It wasn't a friendly situation. So, so boom, like I said, they sent me back over to the old side, right? So I go over to the old side. One day I'm in the yard. With my nigga twin You heard 
My nigga twin from Van Dyke. Mean son is the guard. You heard? That's my nigga. So I'm in the yard with the nigga twin. It's me, twin. I'm tr was Trey Deuce there? I think Trey Deuce was there. I think Trey Deuce was there. I think Trey Deuce had got put back on the old side or some shit like that. I think it was me, Trey Deuce, twin, um, and somebody else. I can't remember. But, um, so I'm standing under the little shack right by the library window, right? So we chilling, we chopping it up. There's only a few of us on the old side from the team, from the town. So, I mean, we stick together on that old side. So the nigga twin was like, yo, son, why the fuck is all them Muslim niggas pointing at you? So I'm like, huh? I turn around. I see because the because the Mars Jid was in where the library is at. So they be in there deep. So I turn around. It's like five Muslim niggas looking at me through the through the glass. I'm like, oh shit. These niggas is really plotting on bodying me or something. You heard? So the nigga, so the nigga twin is like, yo, son, what the fuck is that about? And I told son, I'm like, yo, nah, them niggas is doing that because, nah, I mean. Niggas violated the nigga's son. You feel me? And I seen one of them niggas and backed the nigga down. So he like, oh shit. He like, son, them niggas was scheming, son. Them niggas was scheming, son. Them niggas, it's gonna be on with them niggas. You heard? It's gonna be on with them niggas. I'm like, damn. And real talk, my nigga, like a week after that, they packed me up out the jail and sent me to Hudson. You heard? Out of nowhere, like, yo, your classification dropped. Now that I think about that, shit kind of suspicious, my nigga. I just happened to get packed up out the jail right when I was, cause I was about to, I could have mistakenly started a war between the Muslims and Brooklyn. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of niggas in my own team ain't even know about what was going on. I sporadically jumped out the window and did that. So I could have started a whole war. Somebody could have dropped the slip on me and was like, yo, get this nigga out of here. Like, you feel what I'm saying? He about to start some shit that don't need to be started. You heard, but suspiciously, they just packed my shit up. And send me to Hudson. You heard? So luckily I went to Hudson because it could have been some shit, my nigga. It could have been some shit. But um Rest in peace, the nigga Papa Jock. The next time I saw son was in that club across the street from picking projects after that. You heard? And that was probably the last time I saw son. You feel me? So rest in peace to son. Brownsville legend. You feel what I'm saying? Um Another another youth from Brownsville that was led astray into the streets. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, had to live a life that was crazy. You feel me? Like a lot of us. One on me.